What up, ladies and gentlemen? I'm your host, Killer Faggot, and let's get right into that ass. Okay, here's what I want to talk about. What's up, guys? It's your boy, Team Threes. Obviously, that was just a little troll, but I just wanted to talk about a few things here today. I want to talk about the drama between Grade A, Under A, and then Killer Keemstar, the stupid bitch Nicole Arbor, and my boy Matthew Centaur, okay? Okay, here's what I think about the whole situation. It doesn't really make sense to me why there's such a big deal made about this when other people like to really steal people's content and make money for it every fucking day and no one really talks about it. I mean, I understand, yes, Matthew Santoro, he's supposed to be like one of those people on YouTube that's like a role model or something. You know, he's a nice guy. He, at least he portrays that. And I'm not going to say he is or isn't a nice guy. Obviously, I don't know him. But I just want to point one thing out. You are taking two people, A, Killer Team Star, B, Nicole Arbor, two of the most drama-craving, succubus of fucking devil lords of fucking individuals, and you're telling me that you're going to listen to their opinion on someone that you don't even know, and you're actually going to stop watching Matthew Santoro? Okay, this shit is turning into, like, rapper WWE. You can't even really hate fucking the other person someone's putting down because of what people say. But I'm just pointing out, these people are actually credited to be horrible people. Listen to this. And it's extremely frustrating when people steal that content and publish it for financial gain. Okay, okay, let me let me just point this out here. That's exactly what fucking Keemstar does. He steals a bunch of shit other people fucking do, and then he publishes it for financial gain. Like, are you fucking serious? Like, I see people on here dick riding the fuck out of Nicole Arbor saying, oh my God, she's so nice. Everything she fucking says is a fucking lie. Hold on. Just, just let me play some clips here real quick. It sounds like they should click copyright claim or something. There is her literally telling people to copyright strike his channel, a.k.a. get his fucking channel banned. But that's not even it. There's more here. Matthew Santoro, um, is he the same guy that we see in these YouTube videos or is he no. someone completely different? In the words of another famous YouTuber, semi-famous YouTuber that I like, no fucking shit, mate. I mean, you're sitting here blatantly asking these questions to trigger a response and then trigger a response within the fans to be like, oh, she said he's not who he is in real life. No fucking shit, mate. No one is. No YouTuber that has over 500,000 subs is who they are in real life. It's a fucking show. But that doesn't mean that he's necessarily a bad person. It just means that he's not exactly who he fucking says he is. Who fucking cares? He talked so much shit about Rob Dyke. Really? Constantly. Really? What do you say? He said that that guy's super dark. He makes crap content. It's like really creepy stuff. I don't want to be associated with him. He's covered in weird tattoos. And like he's a really fucked up guy. I don't want to be around him. This literally sounds like fucking third grade drama bullshit. I mean, who in the right mind's going to say that? Matthew Santoro, he seems like a, you know, an open-minded individual. I really don't see him saying that about someone just because they have tattoos or they make some kind of dark comedy or whatever you would like to call it. But it just sounds like some fucking four-year-old going around at the playground telling someone not to play with little Jimmy. Like, it, it's, she's just cutting off every line of defense that he has. It's classic fucking bullshit here. And it's really going on in YouTube. They're trying to destroy certain people. And you already know that it's happening because dumbasses like the viewers and the consumers listen to this shit and soak it up like fucking SpongeBob, okay? Now, Matt put out a lot of, like, personal information about you. Uh, and, you know, he claims that it's true. Uh, you claim that it's not true. Um, ha has that tempted you to put out personal information about him? I don't want to go there. You know, like, I just want to make cool stuff. And that's kind of what I always wanted to do. Of course, I, w I would love to take some jabs and show people who he really is. But I knew that it would come out bit by bit anyway. And then she starts talking about personal shit. What's, is everything on his Periscope up and up? No. Oh, my gosh. So there's a dude named Batuhan. 
uh, I can find his Twitter account for you that uh, Matt has purchased in front of me hearts that you can purchase hearts from different people. And he knew that if he gave himself a big bump on Periscope with having tons and tons of hearts that it would make him look good and hopefully he would get sponsorships and stuff like that. Okay, stop right there. Okay, check it out. Look what she's doing. She's literally picking this man apart piece by fucking piece. It's obviously she doesn't give a fuck. And this sounds really scripted. I mean, how would they just think of all this shit to fucking say at the same exact time in the same video? It's obviously bullshit. They're literally making this up just like they did with the Basher vs. bullshit. Keemstar, you've already been fucking exposed, kid. I see why your butt hurt. You want to hurt other YouTubers because you got exposed. We get it, buddy. Uh, Dude, who is this guy? Well, Kimi, you want to know who he is? Well, let's show the people who you are. This, I'm on blog TV with my fucking hands up. I'm not starting my fucking self. You fucking stupid bitch! This stupid fucking justice, all oh, fucking righteous fucking nigger, Alex, is doing this shit! You fucking nigger! I swear to fucking god, I'm gonna find out where- Yo, everybody type in the chat, Alex is a stupid nigger. Just type in the chat, Alex is a stupid nigger. Fuck him. Being racist. Being racist. Being racist. Hobophobic. And trying to convince other children to kill themselves. That's right, encouraging suicide. Let's get right into it. Today, we're gonna be looking at Sore Gaming. This is the same guy who fucking does this to people every fucking day. He tries to expose people and make them lose subs to lower the fucking amount of YouTubers people watch so he can gain more subs in turn and basically just steal all of their hard work from them. I mean, come on. I don't like ERA, but one, they told him they hoped his daughter got cancer and then what did he do? He made them lose their scuff sponsorship, okay? This is the same guy that calls people the N-word and tells people to get cancer on a fucking daily basis. It's a fucking joke. They're both fucking jokes, people. And if you believe them, then you're fucking retarded. I'm just saying, I watch all these YouTubers. I don't care what you or what another YouTuber says about them. Live and learn and be your fucking self. Don't dick ride other people's opinions. And don't even dick ride my opinion. You can still watch these fucking people every day. Who gives a fuck? I'm going to watch Keemstar. I'm going to watch Nicole Arbor. I'm going to watch Matthew Santorno. I'm going to watch Grade A Under... Un <laughs> I'm going to watch Grade A Under it. 